for Roe versus Wade was uh, the issue was decided not only, of course, this bill, you, you talked about the child can feel pain. That issue was decided on fetus viability. And basically what you understand that that means that can that child survive outside of the womb? Could I, could I was sure, huh? Uh, Justice Kennedy that's considered the pivotal uh, vote on the U.S. Supreme Court mm -hmm. has talked about, in his opinions, uh, that a child uh, talks about a child being ripped out of the mother's womb, ripped out by the by the limbs, uh, their brains being sucked out of their head. He's talked about all of this, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that's in in one of his opinions. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what uh, I what so uh, I don't I respect your uh, opinion. I think you know that I like you as a person. Oh, yeah. I think you're a very nice guy, and I think you're a very good person. Mm -hmm. uh, but and I I respect your view to think whatever you want to think and and every how you want to look at things. After all, we live in America. I, I allowed you to respond to the viability of a fetus. But I also have information that a fetus does not feel pain until the 28th week. And that's why the 26th week was established in order to, to take care of that also. A fetus. Would, you, would you just yield sure. a second? Sure. Uh, first of all, I've got this right here. And these are various and sundry doctors that uh, give their opinion and, and uh, their medical evidence. And if what you're saying is, if that's exactly accurate, then why does a child, when they're inside their, the mother's womb and their surgery performed and there's no anesthetic, why do they grimace and, and show all the reactions that you and I would show uh, to pain? And when they're given an anesthetic, then they don't. I mean, what is your answer to that? Well, my answer to that, Mr. Rich, is this. The reason why that doctor said that, and I'm also, I mean, me and you must be reading the same thing, but the reason why that research was done was not anything to do with abortion. It was done in research to determine whether or not you should give a pregnant mother anesthetics anywhere near a fetus. And that was done just for that mere fact. And, and this is, this that's is what, what I'm talking about. It's Excuse based me. on uh, children where where surgery is being performed on, child. on an unborn child. That's right. And and the same research, that's what, I re that's what I'm reading, says that that child is reacting to a spinal, that's a spinal reflex, not a, a cranial or anything to do with the brain because any child under the age of, I mean, the fetus under 28 weeks has not developed the part of the brain that can, that can sensually react to pain. And if you don't have that part of your brain, then you don't feel pain. Well, I just simply disagree with you. I'm smiling, uh, Representative. You know, in Rules Committee, I tried so hard to ask you to consider and my fellow Rules Committee members to not to put this bill on the agenda. I've got a new recommendation. I wish that we would develop some bills that deal with handshake with the people of Alabama. And when I say the people of Alabama, I'm talking about those who are the least among us now. We've come in here and I'm wondering, what do we deal, Planned Parenthood, why should we have to deal with abortions that I consume issues that deal with morality? We can't legislate morality. We try to legislate morality all the time. When we say that you can't murder someone, that's legislating morality or attempting to. When you say that you can't rob someone, uh, that's legislating morality or attempting to. Uh, and the list goes on and on and on. It's it's a hundred million miles long of the things that we try to legislate morality on. I'm not saying that you can or you can't, but we, we try to. I think what you're doing is you're setting a standard for society. That's what you're doing. You're not trying to legislate morality. You're setting a standard that you expect society to live by. And I think we have every right in the world to do that. Okay, very well. We brought up a bill, we recalled the bill on Tuesday, or Wednesday it may have been, that 
didn't have 63 votes that dealt with health care under federal administration. And the idea with most of the bills, we don't want federal intervention. What is the difference with this state intervention with this bill as opposed to federal bills that we have, especially the health care bill? What we're doing, we're legislating within that at the state level. This is health care. What is the difference? Well, in my view, and I'm just giving you my view, but in my view, uh, that bill is going to break this country. It's going to bankrupt us. Uh, and, and in my view, that is morally wrong to place that kind of financial burden on the, the citizens of this country. Are you that's, the that's my view. All right, you hit it right. This bill is morally wrong because every pregnancy is different. One size legislation will not fit all. It will end up causing women and their families more than you can ever feel. And I still think that we ought to develop uh, some bills that deal with handshake with all the people of Alabama now and the common people and stop this and let's deal with some real issues. Holmes versus Wines lawsuit. We spent $7 million on that. That was Alvin Holmes et al. versus George Wallace. State of Alabama spent $7 million trying to keep the Confederate flag on top of the state capitol. <coughs> In Go Million versus Lightfoot, State of Alabama spent $22 million when they tried to abolish Macon County to keep blacks from getting elected. In Dillard versus Crenshaw, state of Alabama spent $800 million. That's the redistricting case over all over the state of Alabama. In Lee versus Mason, that was the case when the 1954 Supreme Court ruled that segregation in public schools is unconstitutional. And when they tried to maintain a segregated school system here in Alabama, they spent $580 million in Lee versus Macon. In NAACP versus the state of Alabama, that was the state trooper case. They spent $480 million. In Reynolds versus Alabama, that was the highway department. They spent $780 million. It was 26 attorneys that was made millionaires out of that case. How much money the general fund is short now? Do you know? Do you know how much the education budget is short? Do you feel shame? For what? For all this money been wasted? No, I don't. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. But did the state win any of these lawsuits? Um, well, if so, which one of these lawsuits are lawsuits they won? They lost every one of them. Would you recommend this, this procedure? if your daughter was pregnant by a black guy? Would I recommend this procedure? If my daughter is pregnant, I wouldn't want her to have an abortion, period. By a black guy? It makes no difference. I love that. My I, wife I, is a now, wife. Now, now, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good response, but I won't know how much truth is. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, question your truthfulness or your untruthfulness. No, I would no, appreciate it if you I, wouldn't I, question I, mine. I, I really appreciate the answer because you said you you against abortion and that. See, I'm just playing the devil's advocate here. A lot of people say they against something till they have to them. I understand that you are a an upright, moral conservative with moral conservative values. We get that. I also understand that you stand here today because you're concerned about preserving the life of the unborn 
But my whole thing to you is what about the lives of those that are the children that are existing today? You know, I don't know what's, what goes on in your district, but I know in my district I have people who are losing their jobs, who are losing their homes, automobiles are being re repossessed, failing educational system, and children who are homeless, for which many of the members here in this House of Representatives will walk by if they don't match or live up to their social economic status or race, and sometimes even gender, and will not even offer food to them to eat. So it amazes me that you can be so concerned about the viability of life for some poor child that we don't even know scientifically can sustain any pain or has any level of knowledge or anything. Today, you come to the microphone unprepared with, with your personal opinions about this issue of abortion, and especially during the uh, term period of the uh, 20 weeks, without any type of data at all to support it. No type of quantitative analysis research, no type of qualitative research, nothing but your personal opinion about things that you know nothing about. Once again, this is another bill for which you all have brought to the body that has no supporting documentation, but I was told the other day by some of your colleagues that it doesn't matter, we don't have to have knowledge, we don't have to know what we're talking about, we have the votes. Well, I'm glad to know that in the state of Alabama, I want the people to know that they're not electing people who would take the time to research bills, who would take the time to study just because they have the votes and they're in a party that's outside of the Democratic Party. Julius, have you spoken with anyone in the medical field, anyone, any trained, skilled doctor in the medical field that performs abortions or has knowledge, skills, and ability in this area as it relates to your research? I don't need to look at it. You say you pulled out the internet. I want to know, have you spoken with a physician, a doctor, about this particular issue? Have I? Yes, have you? Yes, I have. Who did you speak with? That's, I, that, not, that not, that's not in this house, that's not in, in the legislator, legislature or the Senate, but you are telling me on this floor that you have gone to a medical doctor, you've taken time out of your schedule would and you driven say to that, a doctor. You've you say gone to an abortion clinic. You've gone to speak with someone who performs abortions on this issue, Mr. Rich. I have talked to a doctor that performs abortions. You've gone yourself to a clinic, Mr. Rich. Because a moment ago, you said you had not spoken with anybody who has the skills and abilities, and now you flipped no, on that. No, I didn't that. say that. Okay, have you spoken with someone uh, that has any type of expertise in this area? No, I don't think you have. I'm just going by what you said a moment ago, and I don't know how you could now have acquired that knowledge in the last 20 minutes and you didn't have it prior to this. I just want to remind the body that we have a set of rules that we operate under, and sometimes in the heat of the moment it gets difficult. These moments become emotional to us. We have passion on the issues on both sides. I just want to remind the body that we need to be respectful of one another whenever we're addressing one another, when we're addressing the issue. Let's stick to the issue. And I want to remind the body that we need to we need to refrain from speaking about uh, and, and talking on the personality or the personal issues and making what could be attributed as personal attacks. I, I just hope that we'll keep in mind that we all respect one another, and when we come to the microphone, let's be respectful.